All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this morning, Lobo got a new data download and today as always, we're gonna check out exactly what's going on together. Now, as you guys can see, we are on DBZ space and there are a ton of new units scheduled for release over the next couple of days. Now, most of them are for the uh, next world tournament, which is starting on October 29th at 2.30 a.m. Eastern. So a little bit more than a week away. But we also have the next summonable unit for Global, which to nobody's surprise is the LR, Goku, and Piccolo. And these guys are dropping in about 12 hours from now at 2.30 a.m. on October 21st. So very, very soon. And honestly, I can't promise that I'll be able to live stream my summons at that time, but worst case scenario, I'll definitely have a summoning video for you guys uh, in the morning. So stay tuned for that. Now, let's pop over to the Twitter page of my boy Proton10MG. A big shout out to him for posting the assets for basically every single global and JP data download. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, let's scroll down a little bit here. And we're starting with the assets for the Int, LR, Goku, and Piccolo. This is the SSR. And then we have the TUR form. And finally, the LR as well. And there's also the costume change for when you pop their active skill. So yeah, LR, Goku, and Piccolo. And then we also have the Dokkan Awakening for the free-to-play STR Piccolo from the Garlic Jr. event. And he Dokkan Awakens into uh, Piccolo and Krillin. So that is the TUR. And of course, we gotta have the Dokkan Awakening medals for the Piccolo from the new stages of the story event. Now, after that, we have the members of the Spice Boys Salt and Mustard, as well as uh, Vinegar and Spice. And uh, yeah, okay, so these are the translated units, uh, Awakening slash new units for the next World Tournament. Um, I don't believe JP ever got all of these at once. It kind of seems like they're trying to catch up the Global World Tournament with the JP World Tournament. Not really sure what that's about, but yeah, this is probably the most Awakening slash new units we've received for a World Tournament, possibly ever. I'm not sure, but it seems that way. So we have the Awakening for the Tech uh, Perfect Cell, the Fizz Max Power Master Roshi, or rather Jackie Chun. We have the TUR for the Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. And this is, uh, I forgot how to pronounce her name, so I don't want to mess it up. I think it's a Nin. I'm going to go with a Nin. Yeah, the Int SSR a Nin. And then there's also the TUR for the Fizz Mighty Mask. There's the, um, oh, these are new units. A new Goku, as well as a new Gohan. And these two are actually really, really good. So I believe these are the uh, World Tournament Reward Units for this time around, for the next World Tournament. And then we're also going to be getting a new LR for the Local Ranking Reward. Uh, of course, as you can see, it is the STR LR Mercenary Tau. So, I guess the, um, the Demon King Piccolo is going to be moved to the World Tournament Banner. And now, if you rank in the top 100 for, is it 100 or 150? Either way, for local ranking, we will be getting the LR Mercenary Tau instead of the Demon King Piccolo. Okay, so from there, we have a new Extreme Z area, or sorry, no, Extreme Z Battle. Extreme Z Battle slash Extreme Z Awakening for Int LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And uh, I wasn't really expecting this. I guess I should have. I think JP did get it for uh, the LR Goku and Piccolo release but I just wasn't really thinking about it, you know? But yeah, Int LR Gohans, Extreme Z Awakening, also coming at the same time as the Goku and Piccolo banner. So in about 12, 13 hours from now, which is crazy. And uh, some more assets from the event, along with, of course, the actual Extreme Z Awakening medal. 
and uh, then we have the Explosive Chain Battle Boss Piccolo, which I believe is live right now. I think we can actually run it now, so I'll have a video for that in a minute, or in like a few hours from now. And uh, these are assets for the new support memory, uh, some more support memory assets, okay. And also new legendary summon tickets. Now I believe this would be for the Goku and Piccolo banner, which you can purchase. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think it's for the Piccolo and Goku banner, right? They can purchase in the stone shop. Unless it's for something else. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure these are just for the new legendary summon banner. So yeah, new legendary summon tickets and also some promo banners for the upcoming world tournament with the new Goku and new Gohan and another promo banner and some new story assets. So this is Kid Gohan. We have some Krillin story assets, got some Piccolos and also some uh, some more Spice Boy. So Spice, Salt, Vinegar and Mustard. And also some new stages, or the new stages for the uh, Garlic Jr. story event. Another stage here. And that's it. Okay, so that was everything that was added to the global database through this morning's data download. Once again, big, big shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter for uh, posting these. And before we go, I want to quickly go over the details for a few of the main units. Okay, not everything, because there's just way too many Awakenings and new World Tournament units, but let's talk about what the uh, Goku and Piccolo do, as well as the EZA for the uh, Int LR Gohan, and also the TUR for the Piccolo and uh, Krillin. So, jumping over to the Dokkan Wiki, we have the Int LR Piccolo and Gohan, Oh, sorry, <laughs> and LR Goku and Piccolo, rivals acting in concert, leader skill is saviors, category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or int types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 100%, 12 key super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers defense, ultra super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack, high chance of launching up to 2 additional attacks, plus an additional key plus 1 up to 6, and attack and defense plus 10% up to 59% with each attack performed. Launches an additional super attack every time the character attacked 6 or more times in battle when HP is 59% or less. Leader skill, oh sorry, active skill, key plus 6, attack and defense plus 59% for 1 turn, and it can be activated after attacking 6 or more times in battle if HP is 59% or more once only. And of course we have the costume change which happens when you use their active skill. And we do have some additional calculations here. So their active skill is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 343.61%. And upon using the active skill, Goku and Piccolo lose some of their clothes and the artwork changes for the rest of the battle. So there you go. That is why we uh, sometimes refer to this unit as the Stripper LR Goku and Piccolo. But overall, a very, very good unit. Um, we'll talk more about whether or not I feel like they're worth summoning for in an upcoming pass or pull video. But for now, that is everything you need to know about the uh, Goku and Piccolo. Now popping over to the Extreme Z Awakening, for the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, let's talk about what he does before the EZA and then we'll jump over to the EZA details. So currently, without the EZA, leader skill is in types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super, mega colossal damage, 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and greatly raises attack for one turn. And passive is attack plus 18% for every key sphere obtained, and then key plus 1 whenever key is raised with key spheres. Now with the EZA, leader skill is Int types key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, of key, raises defense, that's huge, for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, 
and then 18 key. Greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage. Passive defense plus 58%, plus an additional defense plus 58% when performing a super attack, and then attack plus 18% for every key sphere obtained, and key plus one whenever key is raised with key spheres. So, as you can see, they basically just gave him a lot more defense than he had before. Um, is it, you know, a ton of defense? Uh, I don't really think he's going to be insane defensively. I don't really think he's going to be like a, a, a great tank by any means. But the fact that he can actually take a hit now, as opposed to just like dying to every super, is nice, right? And of course, offensively, even though he has the same boost for every key sphere, he does get five more super attack levels, and uh, that's gonna allow him to actually hit quite a bit harder than he did before. So, um, I think it's a good Extreme Z Awakening. I do know that a lot of people are fairly disappointed with this EZA, and I can see why, because obviously, you know, a lot of other LRs, uh, where they got EZAs, did get bigger boosts, right? They did get more substantial upgrades. So, from that perspective, I get it. Like, he could have been even better. But, they did what they needed to do to make this guy relevant for, you know, today's day and age, for today's events. And, uh, while I do wish he could have had a little bit more attack, maybe even a little bit more defense than what he's getting here, I'm okay with it, man. Uh, I'm honestly okay with what we got here. So, that is the int... LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan EZA. And finally, we have the Goku and Piccolo. Damn it! Piccolo and Krillin. I keep getting all these characters mixed up because we have the Goku and Piccolo, and then we have Piccolo and Krillin. It's confusing. Okay, leader skill. Heavenly events, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus. 100% when there is a Kid Gohan on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100%, and foresees enemy super attacks when there is a Kid Gohan attacking in the same turn. And then Heavenly Events Category Allies keep plus 3, and attack and defense plus 30%. So, for those of you that uh, pulled the AGL Kid Gohan, um, this guy is going to be a good partner for him, because obviously, great support, getting a ton of attack and defense on his passive, if you're linked up with the Kid Gohan, and uh, just a really, really solid free-to-play unit overall. Link, solid uh, solid support, Cold Judgment, Z Fighters, Experience Fighters, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Joint Forces, Kamehameha, Battle of Wits, and Heavenly Events. So that is the Piccolo and Krillin, the free-to-play one that uh, you can get from the Garlic Jr. event. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I could talk more about the other units, but like I said, there's too many. It's going to take too long, so I'll probably save it for a separate video where I talk about the upcoming World Tournament. But uh, for now, um, that is today's data download update. Uh, good luck to anybody summoning for the Goku and Piccolo. Um, like I said, there will be a passive pull video in a couple hours, so if you need some more direction or some... Uh, suggestions for whether or not the banner's worth it, then definitely keep an eye out for that video. But for the time being, that's all I gotta say, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.